you today. I have the first video for Halloween of 2015, and that rhymed. I should be a rapper. Today I'm going to be showing you five different, really, really simple and easy, but yet still pretty creative in my opinion, Halloween costume ideas for those of you who are either lazy or just suddenly have to dress up for some reason or another. And make sure in the comments to leave what you're going to be for Halloween or other ideas that you might have for people who don't particularly like the ideas in this video and also for me because I don't know what I'm going to be for Halloween so tell me your ideas for me. I want to try to get to 25 likes. Is that reasonable? I think that's reasonable. So if it's like not up to 25 yet you should like it for me because I'll be sad if you don't. The first idea is really simple and when I saw this online I really laughed out loud and I kept telling people about it and they were looking at me really weird. Anyway, that idea is being a literal pot head. No drugs involved, just simply placing a cooking pot on your head and when people ask you what you are you can say, I'm a pot head. <laughs> Why aren't you laughing? was really creative. That was not my idea. Some of these are my original ideas and some of them are not, but I wanted to kind of compile the mixture so you guys could have some good ideas. The next idea is really fun for those of you guys who like to play with makeup a lot. My sister once dressed up as a grandma for Halloween and I think that's really fun. Basically, just put on a ton of makeup, blush, a grandma kind of colored lipstick, you know what I mean, and like a bold eye. And, you know, just kind of play around with it. The thing about being a grandma is you can be really creative with it. You can dress up as a specific grandma, like one from a movie or your own, and basically just wear a ton of knitted clothes and have knitting and a knitting bag with you. And you could, if you're going trick-or-treating, use your knitting bag as your candy bag. I really like this idea, but I can't copy it because my sister already did it a couple years ago. Depressing, I know. So if you guys can think all the way back to a couple months ago when the whole blue and black slash slash <laughs> white and gold whole dress thing was going on, we're, we're going to the future which is Halloween and bringing it back because this is the idea I have for you. Just wear any random blue or black or white and gold dress if you don't have a blue and black one or if you have a white if you don't have a white and gold one wear a blue and black one. I can't speak with my words. Anyway, just wear either one of those that has both of the colors and then either put a name tag on yourself or a kind of placard type thing stating that you are the opposite colors that you actually are. So if you're wearing a blue and black dress, state that you are white and gold. Hi Joe. That's my brother. Anyway, I think that was really clever and who knows, maybe some people will be like, wait, are you actually wearing a white and gold dress? And you can kind of play it up and joke around with that whole idea. I think that's really fun and I feel like I need to crack my neck, but I'm not. Is that bad for you? Tell me, please tell me if it's bad for me. I don't want to die. Okay, so this next idea is also really, really fun. Basically, all you do is wear completely white, or you could also wear completely black if you don't have completely white. Try to make it the same shade of white if you can't, but if it's not, who cares, whatever. And then what you're going to do is cut out about this big around of black circles. So just get some paper and cut that around. It doesn't even have to be a perfect circle, guys. If you're in a hurry, just do it. And then you can tape them onto your white self into a domino type pattern, whatever pattern you want. And um, yeah, you could also use glue if you're not going to be wearing the clothes again because the glue will help it stick better than tape. The tape kind of might fall off. Um, but yeah, that one's just really simple and you can go as a domino or if you and your friends want to do a group costume, you could be a whole group of dominoes, even different colored ones if you wanted. And I think that one's really fun. It's super extremely simple if you have two pairs of the same colored clothing, you're golden, guys. You will be the best. And people will be like, how did you think to be a domino? That's crazy. Okay, what's the last idea? I completely forgot. Go into my notes folder. <laughs> Ah, yes, this one is like the most amazing. But actually, my brother dressed up as this a really long time ago when I was like four or five. And this is for those of you who have younger siblings 
who have lots of play food. When I was younger, I played with play food all the time. It was like my favorite toy, and I had a ton of it. So, my mom had this idea for my brother's costume, which worked out great. Basically, what you do is you wrap yourself in plastic wrap, get some play plastic food, and wrap that on yourself as well. And you also put foil around your whole body, and then you will be leftovers. I saw this online, but also my brother did it a while back. Um, other than my brother, I've never seen anybody be this, and I think it's really great for those of you guys who have younger siblings, or maybe you even still have some play food. I don't, but maybe you do, I don't know. Um, and I think it's really fun and really creative. You can say, I'm leftovers for Halloween, and it's kind of sad, but also really cool at the same time. And you could even do some painting of foods on yourself and make it fun and stuff like that. Um, and yeah, it's just super simple, but really fun. Hopefully you wouldn't get sweaty in the cling wrap, but, you know, you have to take sacrifices for Halloween, guys. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Try to get this 25 likes. I've never done this before, and I feel like a rebel for asking for a specific number of likes. Also, do not forget to comment, because I love reading your guys' comments. It's like my favorite part of my videos is reading your comments, so please do so. I'll see you guys very soon. I love you so much, and thank you for watching this video. Bye.